last video, we're going to be given the graphs of some parabolas and asked to come up with the equation for them. Here we have a parabola where we know its vertex and four other points. Since we know its vertex, vertex form would be very useful. So I'm going to start off by making note of what the vertex is. So here we have a vertex which is at negative 4, 1. Since the vertex is known, we might as well fill that into the equation. Now vertex form looks like this. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And the vertex is represented by this h and k value. So let's fill these in. We don't know a yet but we know that h is the horizontal shift. Since this was shifted 4 to the left, we would write x plus 4. Or in other words, x minus negative 4. And k is our vertical shift, which is up 1, which you'll notice is that y value right there. Great. So now notice the only thing we don't know is a. What I'm going to do is use this point right here to help us figure that out. That point is at negative 3, 2. Notice that it is up 1 and over 1 from the vertex. So you might already guess that a is 1, but let me show you that it actually is. So here, given this point negative 3, 2, I'm going to use negative 3 for the x value and 2 for the y value. So here we go. 2 goes in for the y value and negative 3 goes in for the x value. Notice that a is the only variable left over. I'm now going to solve for a. So inside, let's see, the, these parentheses, we get negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Next I'm going to square 1 to get 1, and 1 times a is just a, so I'll write it as a. Subtract 1 on both sides, and there it is. I found a to be 1. So I'm going to write the equation of this problem as y equals 1, or I don't really have to write the 1 in this case, x plus 4 squared plus 1. Let's try another example. Notice this parabola is actually upside down. So I should make a little note here that our a value should be negative, or in other words, less than zero. Notice that the vertex is also known. The vertex of this parabola is at 1, negative 2. I'm going to transfer that right into our vertex form. So I know y equals some a value times x minus 1 squared whoops minus 2 and I'm going to use either this point or this point now notice on that first point here right here that I've, I've circled I really, I'm not too sure where that is. So you know what? I changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to use that point. I think I'm going to use this one right here. Notice it's at 4, negative 5. So 4, negative 5 will be my x and y values to find a. Here we go. y is negative 5. We're looking for a, and x is 4. Here we go, solving for a. Inside the parentheses, 4 minus 1 is 3. I'm going to square 3 to get 9. Add 2 to both sides. And now divide by 9. 
Now negative 3 divided by 9 is a value less than 1. I'm just going to write that as a fraction, which actually reduces to negative 1 third. So my a value is negative 1 third. Now to look back at this point, does that make sense? To get from the vertex to this point, I sh does it look like I go down a third of a box and over one? Yeah, it looks that way. So let's just write my final answer here. y equals negative one third, we knew it was going to be negative, x minus one squared minus two. Time for you to try some on your own.